dog. Mm. He's fucking oh. fuming. Why? Why? What's he? What's he saying? No, apparently he was working at Salim's gasoline or something. Yeah. And then Jay's pulled up and smashed into his fucking gas station. Jay. And then wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. RJ, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah apparently he's jumped in. Uh, he smashed into the gasoline, so they've had a little conflict, a conversation. Uh, and then it turned to Jay robbing him for six hundred dollars, and like, so, yeah, and like six people yeah, turned up to rob him. Oh, yeah. Our people. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Steve was there. I don't know. He only mentioned Steve being the other person. I don't know. Where right, pink cage? Yeah. No. But he's fuming and wants his six ton back. Six hundred dollars. Is it really worth having a scrap with him over six hundred dollars? Who Not really. Yeah. Literally said to him, I said, it's fucking it's $600. I'll pay you $600. And he's saying it's not about me paying it. It's the principle. Well, yeah. Of, of it happening. So how does he want it resolved? I think he just wants his money back off Jay. Oh. Um... He will get his lick back if he isn't paid. That's the thing. But it's probably best just paying him the six ton. He's not... Doug's back's the beef, you know what I mean? There's no point us robbing him. Yeah, exactly. Uh, let me bow Jay. Let me hear his side and then tell him to... Go out, have a word with Doug at least, okay? Alright, they could, they could like pay the money or something. And I said to him they could have a straightener or something. But he said he wants his money back as well. So just sort it out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know. They have a straightener for the money. Yeah, I mean, we could do that. Let me let me chat to Jay. Let me hear his side of the story. Wait, wait, wait. Before you call him, tell me. And then, uh, yeah. Okay. All right, yeah, yeah. Give me a call. Great question. Uh, uh, what happened? Jay robbed Doug. And Doug. Douglas. Who's Douglas? Uh, it's Why do Douglas we care? Douglas. Uh, like, we, why do we care? Who are they? Who are they friends with? Uh, he's, like pretty, asking. he's pretty good friends with like Solomon and them people, but like we do quite a lot with him. He backs case when it's needed, you know. But Jay's robbed oh, how him. How come? Like not knowing it was him, or just didn't care? I don't think Jay knows him. It's more like the later uh, crew that know him. Uh -huh. I've heard you rob Douglas because it was like some issue at a gas station. Well, yeah, maybe if you would have answered the phone when I called you, you would have been the first to respond, mate. You would have been first responder. Yeah, I've, what's it called? Uh, I'm just chatting to Terry because me and me and Terry do a lot with him and we know like, what he's like and he will just go for a lip back. And obviously, All right. we'd rather no one get hurt over $600. I can't, I can't. Yeah, well, he's not getting his $600 back, mate. You he you shouldn't have kicked go. my you truck and then pulled out a wrench on me. So what I'm thinking, he kicked your truck and then pulled a wrench on you. Yeah, he kicked my truck because I tried to avoid running over his mate, and I crashed into the into the uh, into the gas station, like into the wall. And then he kicked my truck, so I pulled out a wrench and said, "Kick me truck again, I'm gonna bash you over the head." And then he was like, "All right, all right, put put your wrench away." Then when I put my wrench away, as I put my wrench away, him and his boy pulled out knives as I was getting in the truck. So I called Dan Steen, and then we all came down, and I just took the money out of his pocket for repairs. Sounds like Douglas, mate. It does sound like Douglas. Um, yeah, I don't think I met the bloke before. Yeah. He, he, believe it or not, Jay, he backs case. He does back case. Oh, I can imagine. Oh, don't get me wrong. You know what I mean? I, like, you know, nothing personal. Would you be but when down, you kick yeah, me truck? If I go chat to him and try and mediate this, would you be down for a straight mediate this? As far, as far as I'm aware, I haven't heard anything. Nah, but he's going to be on a lit back energy, bro. And yeah, well, then he's going to get six shots, shots in his chest if he comes after me, isn't he? Yeah, but like, that's the thing. That's a relationship, like, like Matt, not all of it. Like, Matt. we don't all want to burn. So, okay, but that ain't all, my problem. Yeah, it is because you're in a group, so it definitely is your problem. Anyway. Yeah. Who said there's a bigger problem? Like, it sounds to me like you're anticipating there is a bigger problem there than there is, actually there will is. Be. He will come and stab you. So what I'm saying, Jay, hear me out, is you to Are you ring him then, man? You do what you want, no, but I'm he's not getting his money back. No, I don't want to. Listen, listen to what I'm saying. Yeah, for a second. Yeah, have a straightener with him. Yeah? Uh, yeah, but you're assuming that there is a problem. Maybe you should try talking to him first, mate. He, 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 I know Doug, he will stab you. 
All right, we'll go chat to him then. I'm going to go chat to him, yeah, but would you be down for a straightener? Well, let me know what he says first. We'll see. Okay, say less. I, I'd go chat to him. Yo. Hello, Doug. How we doing, mate? No, not good, man. I'm sure you've heard the news. Yeah, that's why I'm calling. That's why I'm calling. Uh, yeah. You're not happy, are you? And he's not happy. Why would I be happy? He's not happy. He's crashed into my gas station, mm -hmm. right? Pulled a wrench on me, but then got salted and looked for any excuse to try and rob me. And he's not robbed me on his own. He's called seven other people to turn up and rob me. Did he? Did he not? Did you not kick his car? Hospital. Because I'm hearing very different stories yeah, yeah. from both sides. No, 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 no. I did. I kicked his. I kicked the front of it. That's what it was. Yeah. See, that's where the six hundred dollars came. No, in no, no, no. You know? No, 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 Matt. No, no, it isn't. It isn't, Matt. Because he got in his truck and he drove off because it was fuck all wrong with it. If anything, there was a dent in the grill. That was it. Mm. So he wants. If he can sit there and go, oh, you can pay for me truck. Six hundred dollars. It's a load of fucking bollocks. There was fuck all wrong with it. Yeah, I hear that, dog. Well, how can we sort it out? Because he I gives me the six hundred back. Can we call it there? How about you two have a straightener? No, no, I don't want a straightener because he didn't want a straightener then, did he? He wanted to turn up with 700 people. No, Seven other people, I've Jesus. He put his knife, he had a wrench out, he put it away, then you pulled out yours, and that's why he brought other people. That's why I've heard. Exactly, so he's brought other people. He pulled the wrench first, Matt. All right, let me let me deal with this job and I'll bring you back, Matt. Okay, so last, and about Jay's not given the 600 and Dog wants the 600, so. Why don't you just give him the 600? Because it, it's not about the 600, it's about the principal. He wants it from Jay. Did he say that, though? Terry apparently heard that from him, and Terry told me that. Like, something happened, and... It, uh, bro, they're blaming each other for, like, the instigating, you know? And Jay said he's not given the money, and Doug only wants the money, so... You know what I mean? Oh, look, it's him. Yeah. Is this you? Yeah. I mean, it's only 600. It's not like fucking crazy and, and amount of money, is it? Oh, full well, yeah. Dog will literally just stab Behind him. Ball. So, it, it, over $600 putting everyone in the danger for that is like. And it, again, it's another bridge. Like, we chill with the guy. He don't need to burn that bridge for us because of $600. Yeah. What, is he adamant he's just not paying the 600? Kinda, like... I basically... What did he say? I kinda was like, would you be down for a straightener? And he was like, how about you go speak to him and then let me know? I think, yeah, what I'll do is I'll go to Jay and be like, would you be down for a straightener? And then if he wins, you pay the 600. If you win, you pay the 600. Yeah, I mean, did you say that to Jado about, like, just burning bridges and shit, what we're I not did, trying to do at like, the minute? He was like, like, the conversation was like, yeah, no, nah, I don't care. And I was like, well, you're burning bridges. And he was like, why do I care? And I was like, because you're in a group and it's other people's bridges. And he kind of was like, well, why does he care? Him. Because I've stopped doing G6 devious lickings, mate. I'm literally getting withdrawals, mate, to stop fucking burning connections. Yeah, I'll go chat to him. I'll chat to him. Yo. Hello, um, had a conversation with him. Uh, to be honest, obviously you two give completely different stories. Obviously, I believe you over him. Um, but, there you go. Uh, he, he was given a whole story of like, you pulled up and crashed into his gas station and then like... Uh, life Raider? He was trying to... No, that's what happened. I, I did tell you that. Oh, either way, yeah. Um, he's kind of adamant on the $600 and like... Me and Terry have both kind of said we don't really want to burn bridges over $600, but we get it. So, what I'm thinking, yeah, if you're down, yeah, I'm going to see if he's down as well. You have a straightener. If he wins, yeah, you pay the 600 If you if if he win, if you win, you don't have to pay nothing. You keep it. What do you think? No. No, it's not happening, mate. If you're that bothered about the 600 you could pay it yourself. Because I'll be honest, it's, Matt, you said to me, yeah, listen, listen. No, but listen, you said to me, yeah, that, you, that you're bothered about this so-called connection, yeah? That guy doesn't give a fuck about you and your connection, though, does he, big man? So why do you care? Because Steve already told him that I'm rolling with you. And if this connection was so strong and amazing, he would have gone, yeah, you know what, then? All right, that's what it is. 
but he's still willing to pursue it, mate. So he don't give a fuck about you and your connections. So I don't he understand why. Six hundred dollars. Yeah, well, he's not getting the six hundred dollars. It's mine. He kicked my shit. He got dealt with. If he, want, if he wants to do something after it, then that's on him. It's not on me, mate. I don't understand why. It's like, I, like I get what you're saying, brother, but I, I don't know this, Don. He started it. I finished it. If he wants to carry it on, he's more than welcome to. Right now, as far as I'm concerned, it's dealt with. But if he wants to come back on some lick back, then he's the one that wants to carry it on, and he don't care about you and your connection. This group will forever ban bridges. Talking to me? Yes. Uh oh. Uh, sometimes people people just need to learn to put their ego aside for the greater good. Yeah. Yeah. One hundred percent. I'm not wasting my time with Jay, bro. It's like speaking to a brick wall. He, he's basically saying that I'm not burning your bridge. He obviously doesn't care about your bridge, so. If he doesn't care and he's still willing to do it, I'm going to burn the bridge. So, it Willing is, to do what? It, it's a whole, like, ego thing of, like, it's not about the 600. It's about, like, he's trying, his argument is if he's willing to burn the bridge with us, he obviously doesn't care it, care about it. So, why shouldn't we burn the bridge between you two? That's kind of his logic, so... So he just doesn't want to pay six hundred dollars what he took off someone. Yeah, because he kicked his car. What dog kicked his car? Yeah. Did Doug not tell you that? No, he just said like something happened with the gas station. He's pulled in and smashed into the gas station or something, and then he started arguing, and then he's ended up robbing him for five grand. Five grand. I mean. That's because I was depositing five grand. For six hundred dollars, yeah. Six, six hundred. Yeah, nah, it's all a bit... I don't know, mate. I'm not bothering with it. I was just trying to get them to have a straight in there and it'd be... Peace. Become, like, less egotistical from both sides, you know? Yeah. But, obviously, two grown men can't put their egos aside for three minutes, so... Be with a B. Be with a B, bro. We tried in it. It's yeah, what it is. Yeah, hundred percent. Um, I'll see you. Soon. Pretty chill though. Hello, dog. I'm yeah, you're right. Uh, well, I've just spoken to Terry, and Terry had said he's not told you. So, uh, do you want me to tell you? Do you want me to tell you exactly what happened? You told me what happened. No. Yeah, perfect. I missed a key part out. I offered to repair the vehicle, and he refused it. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, Doug. Uh, I'm between a rock and a hard place right now. Um, he is my gang member. And I've had a conversation with him. And I tried to like, you know... Who's the head of your gang? What's it called? It's Sparky. Sparky, is he awake? I uh, doubt it right now, no. Right, no worries. I'll have a word with Sparky. And yeah. if I go get me 600 back, I'll have to take matters into my own hand, Matt. But yeah, I have a conversation with Sparky. Like, I tried to speak to him. It, it It's... He ain't really budging, mate, to be honest, so... No, he's a fucking weirdo. I'm sure he turned... I'm, mate, he, he's turned up with seven people there. No, he wouldn't have. He wouldn't have. It, it would have just been... The no, I, no I, I'm, I'm assuming. No, I'm just giving a rough yeah, number. Yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway, like, Doug, please don't hurt anyone that I care for because then I have to get involved, okay? Matt. I won't hurt you, mate. That's how you need to nah, but if you hurt my people, then I have to get involved. You yeah, know, if I, I hurt your people, though, we ain't going to remember. So, no one's going to know anything. <laughs> oh, no. Please, Doc. Please. Okay, in a bit, mate. Like I said, Matt. <laughs> in a bit. Oh, no. <laughs> Jay's about to get ocean dumped over $600. Oh, and... She's like... Second of all... I do I have had as a kid. I just... I spoke to Douglas, yeah. Um, and, you know... He basically, I'm, I'm just relaying the message. Don't shoot the messenger. Uh, he basically said, if he doesn't get the 600, he's going to have to take it into his own hands. And I basically told him, please don't hurt people I care for, because then i got to get involved. And then he right, said, well, don't worry, I ain't going to hurt you. And don't worry, if I hurt people that you care for, they ain't going to remember anyway. So, all right. If that isn't so, so with that threat, being said, okay, we will, so, okay, so with that being said right there then, yeah? You really care about this guy, and it, so so the the thing that you should be doing right now 
is rolling out to smoke this Don. Because in my eyes, the way that I see it is the, the thing that you said to me was you was concerned yeah. about burning yeah. a bridge with some yeah. random Johnny, right? Who's apparently not in a group and just has a few mates, right? You was scared about burning that bridge. Now, all of a sudden, that same Don that you didn't want to burn a bridge with is threatening to ocean dump someone who you should really be considering one of your closest, you know, like three boys in the city. So as far as I'm concerned, if that was you, if it was me and you switch places, you know for a fact that I'd be going in that bench and grabbing the gun and looking for the guy right now. So I want to know what you're doing about it. Well, the gun in the bench with four bullets will be staying in the bench because it has four okay, bullets. Okay, but yeah, but fuck the gun. Like, you know what I'm saying, Matt? You, like, you know what I'm saying, brother? All right, where's your standpoint on this? Because uh, I'm I'm hearing this burning bridges shit talk all the time, but this Don is clearly just burning the bridge by threatening to take my life potentially. So I want to hear what you've got to say about it. I am going to carry on with my day and let you resolve it because I tried to offer a resolution and you're refusing to do it. So you can sort it out. Well, if he gets stomped or robbed or whatever, it doesn't matter. It's his own fault, mate. If he's not willing to pay $600. Yeah, but does he have a key to the house? Like, you have to think about that stuff. Nah, keys won't get touched. 